At the Minds and Money Conference in London, I'm with Phil Thomas, Chief Operating Officer at AIS Resources. Uh, so Phil, talk to us about the upcoming lithium project you're working on. Uh, thanks, Rachel. Yeah, we've, we've built um, or explored some uh, areas in the northern part of Argentina in the Lithium Triangle. Um, the actual Salar is called uh, Washatok, mm -hmm. and it's very close to Salinas Grandes and uh, Pozuelos mm -hmm. um, which, uh, and Pasitos, which are the kind of the four main um, uh, Salars in the northern part of Argentina. Um, we've explored it, um, but we were very lucky that we were able to get a PhD study uh, that was completed in 2013. So that gave us a lot of information mm -hmm. that would normally take us two or three years to explore. Mm -hmm. So we leapfrogged most of our competitors um, in that we have that information. Uh, last week I was in Argentina, so uh, we started our trenching and uh, sampling program. Um, we also uh, met with uh, drillers and um, uh, geophysics people to put down um, the acoustic seismic right. and uh, we're hoping for, to have that completed about in February and then we'll commence a 12 month program right. to come up with a bankable feasibility study. Right. But um, as you know this is not my first project. Uh, I did it in 2008 at uh, Rincon and then 2010 at Pozuelos right. and then uh, in 2012 in Hombre Murto. So, mm -hmm. I'm one of the old guys of the lithium business right. who've actually been there, done it, produced right. a producing plant. Um, and I think apart from myself, uh, Ola, um, Cobra are the only other player that's actually built something to produce lithium. All right. Well, now lithium, there's a race for it now, but you've been in it for a while. What is your, what is your thought on, on such a boom in the lithium uh, sector? I think a lot of people will struggle with uh, getting chemistry. Uh, for example, we have a, a pilot plant and a laboratory, um, a million dollar investment, mm -hmm. um, which we can do all our work, our mass balances and phase chemistry. Mm -hmm. And that's really the telling uh, part for most explorers because um, if your lithium carbonate has more than 50 parts per million, generally it's not accepted. Everyone talks about grade 99.2, 98.9, etc. But at the end of the day, it's the deleterious materials that are important not to exceed their levels within selling lithium carbonate. The Chinese market is very, very, and the Japanese market are very particular on what your lithium carbonate chemistry looks like. Right. Now there, are, there must be some myths uh, of lithium in general. Are there any that are common that you can debunk for us? Um, sure. I mean, the, the biggest one is that the higher the grade, the better. Uh -huh. But in actual fact, that's not true because lithium jumps onto every anion it can find um, and so you lose it. So if you look at some of the, the grades, some people will only get 45, 50% recovery, others 66. We were lucky to get 78, but we thought about it long and hard. So um, in brines, high grade is not necessarily good. Right. Now, do you think there is enough lithium to supply the lithium ion market? Yeah, there is. I mean, uh, lithium in Argentina, I've explored all 52 Salars. 26 of them have got economic uh, lithium. There's probably five major ones that could supply the world, um, obviously including Washitok. Um, Hombre Murto has a significant supply. Salinas Grandes is uh, nearly 100 kilometres long and 20 kilometres wide. And I mean, the lithium's not commercial grade all the way through, but it's a big Salar, so Argentina can easily supply it. China has one commercial um, Salar, um, so you know, generally speaking, there's no problem with supply. It's production, which is the problem. Right. Now, lastly, why should an investor uh, look at AIS resources as an option to invest in? Look, I think the key thing is the, the team we have. Um, myself, with um, over 30 years experience in lithium, um, Dr. Ricardo Alonso, who is a professor at the University of Salta, has written all the main textbooks on, on lithium. Dr. Carlos Sorrentino, a world-renowned uh, mining a chemical engineer um, who's developed the processes and really he's the, the man that has sorted out lithium chemistry. Um, so the four of us and, and Dr. Ricardo um, uh, Castaneda, he's uh, also a nationally renowned mining lawyer. So between the four of us and the management team at AIS, including myself, um, we've got the experience, the expertise, the knowledge um, to fast track the, the project. A lot of other people will still be where they are today in right. five years time. All right, Philip, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you, Rachel. At Minds & Money, I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cap Power. Thanks.